Hi, this is Derek with Boise Cylinder Head Services. Uh, today we're continuing on with our uh, single overhead cam Subaru rebuild. That's a 2.5 liter out of like a Subaru Outback uh, 2008. Um, we've already installed the guides. Well, at uh, first we disassembled it, cleaned it up, glass beaded it, put in new guides, cut the seats here, uh, resurfaced the finish of the cylinder head. Um, then we brought it over here uh, all nice and clean. Uh, and now we're going to assemble the valves into it, the valve stem seals, the little under spring shims, valves, retainers, and springs. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to start out by putting these little shims on there, on each of the guides. This kind of holds the spring uh, in, in place, doesn't give it much room to wiggle around. Also protects the aluminum from uh, the pressure of the spring. Um, just got to put a little bit of oil on the ends of each of these guides here so that the valve stem seals will slide on nicely. Then we'll use this little valve, stall, valve stem seal installer tool uh, to drive these on. <coughs> This valve stem seal keeps everything nice and squared straight so that you don't tear the rubber on the valve stem seal. Um, it'd be really ineffective if you tore the, tore the rubber on the valve stem seal. It's going to let oil through and into the combustion chamber and you'll be burning oil. Anywho, slide those on first. Just quick taps usually gets it. We'll verify that all these are straight once they're all in place. It usually turns out pretty good using this tool. Alrighty, they all look nice and straight. Now we can uh, put a little oil on the valves and pop them into place. Got our four intake valves and four exhaust valves. Four exhaust valves. Then after this, we're gonna set the springs and retainers in place, then take it over to our machine where we install all the keepers into the retainers and on the valves so that it'll hold these springs in place. These springs kind of have like a bit of a coil bind right here. It's a little tighter than up top. That's uh, always at the bottom spring pad on these Subaru heads. So we'll put those all in the right direction. They also got a little bit of paint on them too, so that paint always faces up. <coughs> all right, retainers. Then after we get these uh, valves and springs and retainers all put together. We'll vacuum check the cylinders to make sure that uh, the valves are sealing properly to their seats. All right, let's go over here. <laughs> over here on this machine, we can compress the spring down and uh, put the keepers in place, just like we did when we tore it apart, just in reverse. These keepers can usually be pretty tricky to get in place. But, uh, let's see here. There we go, let me release it. You can see there the keepers are holding the retainer against the valve and locking the valve in place. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. Like if you're on the car, there's tools to compress the spring down there so you can take the 
springs off, maybe change valve stem seals. This machine here, when you got the cylinder head off the car, makes it way easy in comparison to doing it on the car. And there is a certain height that these valve tips have to be protruding out of the head. It's called stem height. And uh, that's something we verify when we're cutting the seats. If we go a significant amount cutting into the seats, we know that we need to either change the seat or be concerned about that area. These usually hold up pretty good and we don't have to uh, address that issue much. Just turn it around. We're going to do the intake valves now. And these keepers here just have one groove on them goes in pretty easy some keepers out there are really difficult to get in place before you release the spring but uh we've done a fair amount of these we kind of got it down you just drop them into place most of the time got a little poker here that helps me align them Yo. This table that we got it on is air float system. So I got a little pedal down on the floor that uh, lets me move the cylinder head with air pressure. The whole fixture actually. You can just bounce right down and do them all. So after this, we're going to take it over. I'm going to connect our vacuum check gun, and uh, we'll plug off the spark plug tube hole because that uh, will seal the combustion chamber, that and the vacuum gun. Um, then we can check to see how much uh, vacuum this is holding. I'll shut off our light here. <laughs> This is our vacuum gun here. We use it on all our rebuilds just to confirm that there's nothing funky going on with the, the cylinder head valve to seat contact area. This is going up to about 18, 18 inch pounds um, of pressure there. We like to see it right about there. Uh, a 17 would be all right too. About as good as it gets right there. We're sealing. Pretty perfect seal. So with that, we got the valves installed, the valve stem seals installed, the springs, the valves, everything is ready for the next step. But uh, thank you for watching. That's all we got for today. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to all our videos and hit that bell notification button so that uh, you get all our notifications. And remember, it's all in your head.